Hi, I'm Sean Etchen and I'm the Flexographic Instructor here at Dunwoody College of Technology. Today we're going to be talking about press operations. Right now I'm going to cover plate mounting. After you have your plates selected, go ahead and lay them out and make sure they're all in the same orientation. After you have them laid out in the correct orientation, mark a simple G for gear side in one of the corners. It does not matter what corner you mark it in as long as it is all, it's the same on every plate. Now that you have the orientation determined, mark the center mark on one of the plates. You do this using a tape measure, and you measure from the outside of the bearer bar to the outside of the other bearer bar. And simply mark the center. Don't worry, use a ballpoint pen, and you can write right on the image area, just don't gouge it. Now that you have the gear side and the center of the plate marked, go ahead and clean the plate. Use a shop rag and regular alcohol. First, start by cleaning your work area. Any oil or grease that can get on the plate will damage it and uh, stop ink from pick being picked up. Clean your work area, flip the plate over so it's face down, take some alcohol, spray it on the back, and clean the back of the plate. You want to remove any debris, any grime, any photopolymer that might be on the plate. Now that the plate is cleaned, pick a cylinder. This is a 12 inch 96 tooth cylinder and that's the same as the plate we're going to be using. Grab the cylinder and insert it into the plate mounter. This is a right hand gear plate mounter so the gear is going to go on the right hand side. Open the clamp here by pressing on the pedal at the bottom. Press and hold. It will open. Insert the gear and release the pedal and the clamp will close. Once the plate cylinder is secure, press the plate cylinder lock button right here. This will assure that even if you step on the clamp, the cylinder will not release. Now that you have the cylinder in place, clean the cylinder using a rag and alcohol again. You want to remove any dirt, debris, old ink, anything that might be on the cylinder. Take care not to drag the rag across the gear and then onto the cylinder because there is grease on these gears. Now that the cylinder is cle clean, we're going to put the sticky back on it. You want to make sure you choose the correct sticky back. There are many different kinds. We have already selected the sticky back that we're going to use, which is a medium cushion for what we're printing today. If you need to change out the sticky back, do it at this time. To place the sticky back on the cylinder, simply rotate the cylinder until the scribe line is facing you. Take part of the sticky back, lift it up about a half an inch above the scribe line, and apply it firmly with your hand. Take a razor, cut that excess off by cutting along the scribe line, and removing it. Take it, put it in the trash, and now while turning, apply the sticky back. Make sure to keep the palm of your hand in contact with the cylinder. Do not do this. Keep it in contact with the cylinder at all times. You do not want air bubbles to get underneath the sticky back. Air bubbles are the enemy. Apply the sticky back all the way around. Now that we have lapped back over, take your thumb and push down along the scribe line. and cut in the scribe line. Remove the sticky back 
and the sticky back is now on the cylinder. We will now mount the plate. Take the plate. Notice we have marked the G in the upper right hand corner for gear side. Insert the plate underneath the plate clamp. Line up the center mark with the center slider, center mark slider on the plate mounter and put the cl plate clamp down by pushing plate clamp down toggle. You will want to turn the light switch on at this time as well to aid, in the, aid you in seeing what's going on. And if you need to adjust the plate, press the momentary up button and it will lift the clamp momentarily so you can move the plate. Now it's roughly where you need it to be. Before you go any further, make sure the indicator pins at the top of the plate mounter are centered out. If they are not centered out, center them by using the micro adjust knobs. Once they are centered, take the microscopes and push them over so you can view the registration marks on the plate. Adjust the position of the plate by using the micro adjusts until the registration marks on the plate are in line with the center line on the plate mounter. Once they are lined up, Bring the cylinder up by press pressing the print cylinder up button. Bring it up until it's about an inch away from the plate clamp. Lift the plate. Remove the sticky back liner. And as you're removing the liner, inspect the sticky back for air bubbles. If there are any air bubbles, remove them with the use of a, use of a razor blade. Now. You want to rotate the cylinder so the scribe line or the sticky back butt goes into a non-image area. And grab the plate by the center, tug it, and apply it to the cylinder. It is important at this point that you do not tug it to the left or the right, but you pull it straight down so it gets onto the plate cylinder correctly. Now that the plate has been uh, attached to the plate cylinder, Put the plate clamp up by pressing the plate clamp up toggle and lightly put pressure on with your middle finger and rotate the cylinder. Now, make sure the plate is lined up by looking at the registration marks on the bearer bar and they should line up. If they do not line up, Simply determine which way the plate needs to be moved. Pull the plate back carefully and tug it over to one side. Perfect. It is very important that the plates are mounted perfectly. If they're not, you will have nothing but trouble on press. Now remove any of the excess sticky back. You want to leave about a half inch on each side of the plate. Now we're ready to bring the plate over to the press. Release the print cylinder lock switch by pressing the print cylinder lock button. Firmly grab the cylinder and press the foot pedal to open up the clamps. Carefully remove the plate and bring it over to the press. Don't forget to turn off the light switch.